What are we even doing here? Have you ever wondered what it would be like if your favorite outdoor apparel brand started making canned fish? And I'm not talking about LL Bean, silly. I'm talking about Patagonia. Yes, protecting insufferable yuppie scum from the elements for time immemorial. They've started making canned fish. I'm not sure how long they've been at it, but I got a hold of a can of Patagonia Provisions Lemon Caper Mackerel in olive oil. Pretty stoked to try this stuff out. Uh, by all accounts, people have loved this stuff. La la la, where is it? All the usual marketing crap is on the back here about how nice they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were they caught? Product of Spain, so sounds good. Nice box. Nice pictures of uh, sort of drawn fish. Okay. More info inside. Oh God, do I have to read this? It's just like why Atlantic mackerel? Apparently there's less mercury and stuff. Mackerel is one of these fish that I think has a bad rep. Uh, you know, you gotta watch out. You gotta do your reading, huh? Oh man, I love capers. I just love capers. My mom used to cook a couple of different dishes with capers on them, and I didn't know what they were, and I just assumed they were frog's eggs, and she didn't have the heart to tell me that they weren't frog's eggs for a long time. They're in here nice and tight. I'm just gonna take one out. This looks like one of the two big ones. Look at it. Break this apart. I don't smell a lot. Okay. Drier on the inside than on the outside. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a bite. Okay, zesty, great chew. These capers feel like, man, we've been soaking in this oil. Um, yeah, not too dry, but the little bit of dryness towards the interior of the piece kind of gives it some chewiness. It's very satisfying. Mm. Actually, that part was quite saturated with oil. Um, Wow, what a, what a fantastic quality fish here. Not quite as fall apart as the King Oscar mackerel that I had that one time. Um, well, that part was. Dang. That was soft, delicate, and delicious. Uh, boy, you really get a lot of variety just in this one piece of texture. I I, my favorite part about eating fish that you don't really get with sardines is so. how these cleaves just cause the meat to break apart. And it's so satisfying taking it apart. Wowie zowie. This is so good yet super stupid to just eat it like this. I don't, I don't know how I should eat it. I, this would be great on just some, some toasted bread or something for starters. Honk, honk. Um, gosh, this doesn't really, cause, you know, maybe the, the, the big to do about Atlantic mackerel they're putting on the inside of the box. Oh yeah. Maybe there's something to that. Cause um, kind of the Japanese stuff, the Asian stuff, definitely got a different flavor. I hate it if that flavor was like, you know, mercury. <laughs> I don't think it is. It's like, I always call that flavor an irony flavor, you know? This just doesn't have it. I just love capers, so I'm trying to get them. Get them here one by one for me. Oh, this is gonna be great. See this guy? 
I used to mix in uh, Wild Planet Yellowtail into my rotation. You know, once every four or five cans have that. I could see this replacing something like that. Oh man. So good. I'm sorry I said all that stuff about insufferable yuppie scum at the beginning. If you're insufferable yuppie scum and you're watching, I apologize. You're all right in my book. You know, everybody is somebody's insufferable yuppie scum, you know? What's that song? Everybody's somebody's fool? You know it's good when I just stop talking about the fish and start talking about freaking whatever. <clears throat> Patagonia. Can't wait to try more. My boy, Slow Jabroni, he ate all their mussels the other day. Like, uh, sooner or later, I'm gonna get those and I'm gonna try them. Can't wait. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, here's Slow Jabroni's Patagonia Mussels video. Check it out. Otherwise, I don't know, watch one of my videos at half speed. Yes, that's an option. I'm telling you, it's awesome. It's going to melt your face off, but make sure you hit the subscribe button before you do it because there's no turning back. Bye.